Hi, welcome to another Urban Outdoors in SoCal video. My name is Danny Milton, and today we're in Barstow. Today's video is not coming to you from Barstow, but it's going to be more footage of the Mavic Air 2 with a new update using the 4K zoom. Uh, I took it to a bunch of different locations. I'm going to show you footage of the drone flying in wide mode, zoom mode, and then zoomed in also in zoom mode to show you the full extent of what the framing is going to look like in each one of those scenarios. In every shot, the drone height is exactly the same or within a couple of feet. So you can see how much of a difference there will be in each of the different zoom modes. So all of the footage I'm going to show you today is raw and unedited. No color correction, no extra sharpness or anything like that added to the video. One thing I also want to mention is, yes, a digital zoom is never going to be quite as good or quite as clear as an optical zoom, like in the DJI uh, Mavic 2 zoom. This, what you're going to have with the Mavic Air 2 and the, the new firmware update, is going to be a digital zoom. So it's not going to be as sharp, but it will help you out in certain scenarios. So one scenario where the 4K zoom may come into effect is when you have to really get close to your subject. And say for instance if I'm if I'm out, you know, recording some people surfing or body surfing, whatever, or in the scenario that we're looking at right now. Um, so I want to get a really close-up shot of all of these bushes and stuff that are in between the roads here. So I can only get the drone so low. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you really quickly the 4K wide and then the 4K zoom, and then we'll compare the, you know, the quality of both of those as well. So a couple other things I wanted to test really quickly is to see if you can be in that 4K zoom or in the 4K two-time zoom and still do things like active track, 
uh, point of interest or spotlight tracking. So we're gonna go outside of the truck real quick, see if we can get some orbits of my vehicle in the 4K zoom using the PO, uh, using the point of interest and also do a little bit of active tracking, see if it will stay locked into that frame there. So very quickly, I'm just gonna step out of my truck. I'm gonna walk around the parking lot here. Uh, we're gonna set up the drone to active track. It's gonna follow me around just as I'm walking around the parking lot. But we're gonna make sure that it's gonna work in the 4K zoom and the 4K two time zoom. All right, so thanks again for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully some of the stuff that you found in here is a little interesting. Will help you get out and use your Mavic 2 in other ways. Just wanna let you know, I'm no professional. These are just my results that I can share with you guys. So if you're thinking about buying this drone or if you have any problems using it, doing some of these tracking modes and such like that, hopefully these videos will help you. If you do have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section below. I usually answer questions within a one, or, one or two days. So I, I'm here to help you guys. Leave those comments down below. Do all that fun stuff for me, please. Smash that like button, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Once you subscribe to the channel, please hit that bell notification so you do get notified whenever I have any new videos coming out. And the last thing you do is click on one of these boxes in the corners. One's going to take you to a rides playlist, another to a favorite video, and you can click the logo in the other corner, the Urban Outdoorsman SoCal logo to subscribe. Thanks a lot.